Hello, this is Picture in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Looks like I got another budget flashlight to review and give away. So, let's check it out. All right, Fiacci sent me another budget flashlight to review and give away. So, if you're interested in any of the giveaways, just stick around to the end and I'll let you know how you can uh, enter. So. Uh, this is the FL17 uh, tactical flashlight. It has the M-Lock uh, rail mount. So we'll go through the box first here. Uh, we got directions, links to the social media stuff. All right, this comes with two of the 18650 lithium batteries. I do have one already installed. Um, they are rechargeable, obviously. Right, which is cool you got a spare it only takes one battery for the flashlight um, it does have the charger it charges one battery at a time it has the LEDs to uh, uh, tell you that it is complete and it takes three hours to completely charge one of these batteries so that's kind of cool uh, the battery life is four hours on uh, there all right let's see it does have a remote end cap for a tactical switch for your rifle, which it doesn't come with anything to mount it, but you know that's pretty pretty straightforward on how to set that up. Um, but it does have a press on, you know, so it's a momentary switch as well as an on-off switch. So it has both styles, and it can stretch out, and it's kind of a telephone cord style. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, and like I said, this one does have the M-Lock rail mount, which it is an offset, so it goes off to the side. Um, you can do it both ways. It comes with all the mounting hardware and the Allen key. All right, and like I said, this is the same flashlight as uh, what it came with the F11, or FL11, I keep saying that. So let's put this aside and then we will check this flashlight out. So. All right, this flashlight is all aluminum. It is water resistant. It's uh, the, the main body of the flashlight is inch wide. It's five and a quarter inches long. It has that scalloped uh, defense bezel on the end. Um, I don't know exactly which LED it has. I believe it's a CRE XP or XL V6 LED. Um, it's 1200 lumen. It does have the on-off switch on the end cap and a lanyard. Uh, it does put off some really good heat, just like a uh, most tactical flashlights. Right? Um, it's rated as four ounces with the battery in it. Right? That's what it states on the description. Now, if you do go to Amazon and check out the description, the description for the FL17. Is exactly the same as the FL11. Uh, they are the same flashlights as you can see here, right? So they are rated the same. They do feel pretty nice. Um, I think the weight of it and the size of it uh, might be big for you know a rifle or whatever. I mean, the weight isn't that much, but you might be picky. Four ounces doesn't seem that much, but when you put it at the end of a rifle, it might be. Um, but for a purse in your car, in a go bag or your range bag, um, it's like the perfect size. You know, if you're out walking the dog, you know, with that lanyard loop, it's kind of nice. The uh, defense bezel there up under the chin could persuade somebody to leave you alone. But hopefully you don't have to use it that way. Um, I think it's pretty nice. The only thing that, that might be a concern is since it isn't, doesn't have, you know, a rubberized grip on there, you know, people might not like the the feel of it, you know, as far as, you know, the grip on there. I think it's fine. I mean, it does have a little bit of texture. It's not knurled or, you know, scalped or anything on there. Um, they do have some two rings in there, but it, it does feel nice. Uh, the only thing, maybe if you're in cold weather or something like that, but if you're outside for long, you should have gloves anyway. So that is the FL-17 uh, tactical flashlight with the M lock, which, like I said, the M lock mount 
It is the same as that Picatinny rail mount for the F11, or FL11, but it has all the parts in there. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. It does have the, the Allen key and such to tighten it up. And it would work for other, other size too, but you know, if your body or shaft is, uh, you know, the inch, you know, it should work fine. But, and the finish on it feels really nice. There's no sharp edges. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, and for the price point of this flashlight, I mean, I don't think you can beat it. It's, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's not a $200 light where you have, you know, strobe and all the, uh, the lights on there, indicator lights for, you know, your battery life and all that stuff. But, you know, for the, the price of it, uh, you know, you can buy a couple of these and drop them in your, you know, both cars or, you know, whatever you got. And they're a good gift, too. So, I think it's nice. Uh, check them out. The link will be in the description. I don't get anything from the link, obviously. But uh, just remember that the FL11 uh, and the FL17, they're both the same flashlight. It just depends on what kind of uh, rail mount you want. If it's the M-Lock, the Picatinny, or, or the other style. I believe the Weapon Light, which is the WL-15, I believe the specs for that flashlight are the same as well. So, that's it. So, I think it's pretty good for that price point. It, uh, 1,200 lumens, shines 200 meters, they say. And uh, I tested it out. This one, actually, the FL-11, FL uh, my daughter has been messing with this for over a month, and she hasn't broke it, so <laughs> that's saying a lot. So uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, and if you are interested in the giveaway, uh, make sure you check out Rick's Life As I See It. Uh, we do a Shooting with Disabilities chat every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's a live show, and that's where I usually give away a lot of the different... Uh, uh, things I review or swag, be it patches, stickers, or the like. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Make it an outstanding day and never for the dark.